What is good everybody welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today we're going to be taking a look at the new images from Toy Fair 2018 day number two. I did a video on day number one and there were a lot of great figures in that reveal if you want to go check out that video but I think they did even better in day two guys we got a lot of brand new epic WWE figures so let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. So starting things out with the modern day Maharaja guys, our first elite of Jinder Mahal looking good here. Here are some close up images. I know they revealed this yesterday, but today surfaced some newer images and you can see the head close up. I am a fan of this head scan a little bit just because I can see the likeness of Jinder Mahal. But I wish they would have given us longer hair. As you see here with the shorter hair, it's more of like a around WrestleMania last year when he, his hair was really short. And I wish it was more bushier, you know, the longer, like a feud with Randy Orton type look is what I would have hoped. But I do like this figure overall. So another figure they showed us yesterday, guys, was Elite 60 Triple H. But they only gave us one image. But here is a newer one from today looking very nice. I love this figure with each image they release of it. The bearded head scan is amazing. The attire they chose and everything. Every Triple H figure I love. Here you see the entrance vest on the back and it's very accurate. It looks just like what he wore. I guess they can go ahead and throw in the bike as well. That would top this figure off. But no kidding, guys. I am loving all of the newer images we are getting of these figures. Some newer images of the brand new Elite 60 Elias are also out, guys, and this figure is phenomenal. Again, like I said in day one's video, this is an early figure of the year candidate with all of the detail they added in here. Look at that head scan. The beard looks incredible. I love the parts. All of the freaking accessories we get with this guy is incredible. And Elias is just looking so fresh. I cannot wait for this figure to drop. Here's a little backside image of it. I guess the only complaint you could have is maybe not just give us a basic guitar, but that is literally just finding something to nitpick at. I love this figure to death. Just like Triple H and Elias, guys, we have new images of Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Here's a shot of the Kofi front and back in close up. And I did not notice that they had the ice cream pop heads all over the attire as well. So they also have those all over the tights, all over the jacket. And just like all of their other elites, I think that these New Day figures look fantastic. And I can't wait for those to drop as well. Elite 60 is looking like an overall great set. So very, very psyched to see what comes of them. So here are some new loose images of Elite 58, guys. Mickey James looking great with her Women's Championship. I do like the way that final product came out of that. Here's Matt Hardy with the Raw Tag Team Championship. The green on those pants looks great. It really pops off. It's very saturated. Here's a quick little shot of the bar. I wish we could have seen what they look like without their accessories on there. And here is Braun. I wanted to talk about, I think his head looks a little weird to me. It looks like his mouth is just open. It doesn't really give off that pissed off like Braun look like I would like. So um, that is a little troublesome for me. Even though I'll probably still pick this figure up, I do love the ambulance door accessory. I think that is a beautiful touch, but I just thought that this figure should probably look a little bit more pissed off. So here's a look at the brand new Basic Series 85 Bobby Roode. Really loving the basic head scan right here. I'll probably only pick this up for the head, obviously, guys, because you can't do arm swaps anymore. And the knee pads. Loving the knee pads there. I'll probably sw switch these knee pads with my white Bobby Roode Elite depending on what the entrance greats elite looks like underneath the cloth robe, but I am loving this brand new Bobby Roode figure. And here's a shot of the brand new basic Alexa Bliss, and I thought they topped themselves off with the Elite 53, but I think this one is a little bit better than that. Obviously, the articulation on the Elite 53 is a lot better, I'm sure, but the head scan on this one looks very nice. I would love to head swap both and see what it looks like. I'll probably do that in an upcoming video when this releases, so I cannot wait to see what this Alexa Bliss figure looks like when we actually get it in hand. So here's a shot of the new basic Finn Balor, guys. In my video yesterday, I had a reflection of the behind of this figure, and I was hoping we'd get a brand new Finn Balor head scan, but that is not the case. It is the same one that we got with the first series of basics that had the trash articulation, and it continues here, guys. So no arm swaps, no fix-up Finn Balors coming in the future, so that totally sucks for this figure. Next, we have this brand new Akira Tozawa basic looking very nice. I love the head scan on this thing. Again, it is a basic, which absolutely sucks because of the trash articulation, but I do, again, love the uh, fact that we're getting an Akira Tozawa. We're continuing to build up our cruiserweight division in our figures, so I am definitely digging this and cannot wait to pick this thing up when it drops. Another new basic we have right here is this new Charlotte in her blue and black attire. Looking pretty good. I like the head scan on this. I think it does resemble Charlotte. Again, women figures are absolutely terrible, especially with the brand new articulation with them. And they have just completely ruined them. And I hate it because I actually like the way this figure looks. 
Next, we have this new John Cena basic that I don't think anybody cares about. If it had the newer arms, it may be something special. But now that it is the orange and blue attire, guys, we are moving forward. Up next, guys, we have this WrestleMania Basic Series Dolph Ziggler right here from his time in the Andre Memorial Battle Royal last year. And this figure is nice. I love the attire they chose for it. I wish it was Elite, of course. I'll probably pick it up for the head scan because this is our first ponytail Dolph Ziggler. And I have some customs that I could totally put this on. So I'm definitely looking forward to this figure just for that reason. Because you know, as well as I do, I can't do arm swaps and stuff because of new basic articulation. Next up, we have these new, smaller-looking figures, and I wanted to show you guys these because I think these look fantastic. I'm very, very excited for these, and what I'm going to plan on doing is going to come up right here in a sec. You see the Finn Balor? Look how nice this looks. Look at all the detail they put in here with these things. I think these things will be a ton of fun to pose around. Here's a look at AJ and Sting. These just look so fun to play around. I would love to put these on like one of my desks or something just to play around with. I think I'm going to take this Warrior head scan right here, paint it up, maybe switch around some parts from different ones and maybe I can make a Dolph Ziggler one that's my plan for it but I again guys these things look very fun to play around with and I just wanted to show them off to you Next up is the brand new Elite 59 Miz, and I cannot believe they actually went with this Battle Pack head scan. I was hoping for a brand new head scan, but he's coming with another obnoxious, terrible rubber entrance coat thingy, and I am just sick of the Miz figures in their entrance coats because they are never poseable. They're never, you know, flexible at all. They always hinder articulation, and I cannot believe they actually decided to put this head scan on here. However, you could just buy it and do a head swap, but we did just get the Elite 53, which I think is a better figure and better attire. I think this is his gray and black attire, which I think isn't as good as his uh, midnight blue one, so I probably will pass on this thing, but it is interesting to see if you're a big Miz fan. Here's the figure that I am probably most excited for, most anticipated from the entire Toy Fair. It is Kurt Angle, our first bald Kurt Angle Elite, and it is his WrestleMania 19 attire. You guys know how I feel about Kurt Angle, one of my favorites of all time, and I am loving this Team Angle Elite. They're using the same parts that we got from the entrance grates, but that doesn't really bother me. I was not a big fan of the formula they were using, but now that we have gotten the entrance grates in hand, I absolutely love it. So this figure will be no different. Hopefully, we will be able to get a Team Angle fully in the uh, future down the line, maybe Elite 61 one or two we'll get a flashback charlie haas and flashback shelton benjamin that would be incredible but this figure looks amazing cannot wait to see what future kurt angles we get as well the bald head scan isn't perfect by all means but i am still loving the way this thing looks and of course you could do a head swap with maybe an old school jacks figure or something like that if you didn't like the head and speaking of future Kurt Angle Elites, guys, look at this brand new epic moments based off of Stone Cold Appreciation Night when Kurt Angle came to the ring in his milk truck and sprayed down the Alliance and Stone Cold with his freaking milk. And this was just one of my favorite moments in wrestling history, one of my earliest memories of wrestling. I believe this happened in 2001. And you see Kurt Angle here. We are getting him with a gold medal. He is going to come with his accurate shirt. It's going to be the sleeveless basketball style jersey that he was wearing on that night with the eye on there for the three eyes and this thing just looks amazing we get all of these accessories these squeezed milk cartons all of this this hose with the milk squeezing out is amazing i cannot believe they're actually going to um introduce that i think they're going all in with this epic moments line and including all kinds of stuff literally the only way you could top this is to include the milk truck itself but i'm loving the kurt angle head scan you see we are getting three elites we get a brand new stephanie head scan brand new stephanie figure Brand new Stone Cold. They said this is a very early prototype, so I'm sure they will improve this thing even more. I sh I'm sure they'll probably throw in the WWF title because Stone Cold was champion at that time. So that will be interesting to see, but this was probably one of the coolest reveals that we saw from Toy Fair. Next, we have the new Elite Build-A-Set series right here, and I believe this is going to be Walmart exclusive. You guys know we got that Legend series with Yokozuna, Mean Gene Okerlund, Six, and Ultimate Warrior. I believe that is the new line here. We get Alundra Blaze as the first one here. We also are going to be getting Doink, and then we are going to be getting Razor Ramon, and then we are going to be getting this beautiful Shawn Michaels right here in the WrestleMania 10 attire. Cannot wait to grab this Shawn Michaels. Probably the best one out of the set by far. I am digging the purple pants we're getting with Razor Ramon, but I don't think any of these figures is going to top this HBK. 
The last figure we're going to talk about here today, guys, is the Elite 59 Finn Balor. And I am already disappointed with this thing because they did not give us the ripped up torso. I cannot believe that Mattel did this to us again. This is not even close to accurate with his torso. Finn Balor is way more ripped up than this. I do love the paint apps, though. This is supposed to be based on the Raw before SummerSlam, before he fought Seth Rollins. You know, the Demon came out to the ring on Monday Night Raw to face off against Seth Rollins before they met at SummerSlam. And I am loving the paint apps on this Mattel always does a great job on these Finn Balor figures, but they always make the bonehead body decision. Why can't they do it like they did with the Network Spotlight? I just don't understand it. I would even trade in all of the accessories just for an accurate body mold, but I guess I'll have to get to customizing on that one. Showstopper Custom Figs about to make some more money off the Finn Balors, but that is a big disappointment. I love the way the figure looks, just that body mold decision just always drives me up the wall. But that is going to do it for all of the new figure images we saw at day two of Toy Fair 2018. I cannot wait to see the new Toy Con coming up very, very soon. Bill said from Mattel himself that we will be getting more figure reveals at that con. So it's very exciting to see. We've already seen all of these brand new figures and how epic they are. I cannot wait to see the more upcoming figures that we're going to see. I don't even know how they're going to top themselves, but I am loving all of the new content we're going to be getting in here very, very soon. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what figure you are most psyched for. Which figure did you enjoy the most from the reveals we get to see? Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.